Coach, the Okanagan Sun, Shane Beattie now joining us. Uh, Coach, when you walk into this dressing room, this locker room, you've been here before, but what are the memories? Do they flood back when you first walk in? Well, actually, the locker room is totally different. Okay. It uh, looks great. I'm impressed. It's a college locker room. You see the names, though, up on the... On oh, the every eye I saw that. It's a lot of history. There are a lot of the kids that I played with. A lot of the kids from Camels. Yeah. A ton of them. I mean, Greg Shane, Jamie Bennett. You're looking right across the room there. It's nice. It's awesome. Talk about some of the, the stuff that you know about the Okanagan Sun as of late. You've been following along last year, obviously, a, a season we don't want to remember. But what have you seen on film? What do you know about the team? I've watched a lot of last year's film. Um, we were just fundamentally, you just weren't sound. Um, you know, they're making key mistakes mentally. Um, we made not as much physical. I can live with the physical, mm -hmm. but it's just when you see the mental mistakes and, and not getting the appropriate gaps on defense or the appropriate blitz formation or blitz re uh, relative. You know, they weren't relative to the proper holes on their gaps. So you got to fix that. And um, you know, the coaches worked about off. You can see that, but it just didn't look like we were fundamentally sound. Mm -hmm. And I think we had the right kids. We just had to come in and, and, and show them the right way. Mm -hmm. Is there a hole or two that you're focusing on? You say you have the right kids, but uh, how many? I think we need to really. I think we need to solidify the secondary because okay. um, we're going to play with a lot more kids, mm -hmm. um, and obviously the D line is very important. You have to be st solid at the end, corner, quarterback, and left tackle, mm -hmm. and those are our biggest pressing needs. Quarterback, we're going to be all right. I mean, I like Cam, but those four, three other positions are big time needs: corner, left tackle, defensive end. Traditionally, this team gets a lot of players from all over the place. Recruiting is a big tool, part, especially part of your portfolio as the head coach. Do you like recruiting? Do you know much about recruiting? I love recruiting. That's my, that's my cup of tea. I think I can sell ice to an Eskimo. I mean, <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing it for a long time as a recruiter. Um, I was a recruiting coordinator at Reed the College for 10 years. Assistant recruiting coordinator at Iowa State was great. So, I mean, we've um, got, we got a lot of road to haul, but at the same time, we're going to bring in some good kids, some real good kids. We're going to change the atmosphere around here. You've seen some of the kids so far at the practice at CNC. What, what do you know about the guys, and, and what did you see in those practices? I don't know a lot about the guys individually. Um, I've just talked to a few of them. I, I liked what I saw. They worked hard. The energy level was up. Like Ron Harding was saying, the energy level picked up tenfold yesterday um, when I got there. and. Um, I liked what I saw. We're a little green. We're really green, actually. I was showing them some stuff that they said they hadn't seen in a long time. So um, our job now is to get them caught up to where they need to be to play at the next level. Yeah. With the next level, coming from the States, is that potentially a next level for these guys? Or are we talking CFL as the next level? I would say some of these kids have the potential to play down south. Um, in fact, Coach Mollard called me the other day, and we sent one kid down to read the college that played here last year, linebacker. I can't remember his name, but, um, you know, that... That avenue is there for some of these kids. Not everybody, you know, not everybody's built for that. But, um, you know, then obviously get them ready for the CFL if they can. Yeah, absolutely. You've been around the American game for the last couple of years. Can you bring some of that routine, that mentality of the American game and bring it up to Canada? That will be my whole philosophy. Yeah. We're going to bring the South down here north. <laughs> I mean, up here, it is what it is. I mean, we're going to be aggressive. We're going to be very multi multiple. Um, <clears throat> I want to bring that mentality down here. Yeah, absolutely. As a coach offensively, do you like to throw? Do you like to run? Do you just rely on your coordinators? Well, that's going to be Nagy's cup of tea. Um, you know, I want to run the ball, but at the same time, everything feeds off each other. And <clears throat> I want to be want to run the read zone and then pass off of that same look. So we'll be, but I want to be multiple. So, I mean, he's going to be wide open at the same time. We'll be closed down. So, but I'll leave him. I'm going to give him the, the rope. What about your coaching staff? Do you know them? Do you, how long will it get to, to, for you to get comfortable with these guys? I know Wheats. Um, Mollard and I have talked so much that my phone bill can't take it anymore. <laughs> but, um, you know, Mollard and I are getting, are getting really close. I sat down with Ben over the weekend in Vancouver, Ben McCauley. Um, other than that, I haven't met anybody else besides Nagy. So um, <clears throat> it's going to take some time. How I long really do you think? I have to evaluate, evaluate each and every one of them still. Sure. I mean, I would say it's going to take until after the spring camp. Okay. Yeah. At least, I mean, to evaluate eight other coaches. Yeah. Yeah. Next step, what do you do now? Recruit. Yeah. Re it's all about the kids. We're going to recruit, 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 and um, get this team better. Shane, thanks for doing this. Welcome. Sure. Appreciate it. Shane Beattie, the new head coach of the Okanagan Sun, joining us here at okanaganson.ca.